In this video, I'll show some reasons why a run on client scheduled job failed to launch at scheduled time, but it works fine if it was run manually. Just for reference, a run on client are jobs running on ASE OBM or ASE ACB client. On the other hand, run on server jobs is when the backup job is running from the ASE CBS server. This video will cover these 10 common reasons. Feel free to jump ahead to the topic that you want to watch. Number one, machine is powered off. This is obvious, but if the machine is shut down, hibernating or in sleep, the scheduled job cannot run. Number two, network problem either on the client side or the server side. If your backup job is always missing its schedule, it's unlikely that it's a network problem. Continue watching this video for other reasons. Number three, CBS is down. If the CBS backup server is down, whether it's for planned or unplanned reasons, maybe it's undergoing maintenance like a CBS upgrade, it could be unreachable. The clients cannot communicate with the CBS backup server to run their scheduled jobs. Number four, backup sets scheduled setting is disabled. If your scheduled job is not running when you think it is, you want to double check on that. So log into your OBM or ACB client, click on the backup set, go to backup schedule. And then if you see that it's off, click on it to turn it back on and then reconfirm that the backup schedule is set correctly. And don't forget to save the settings. Number five, backup sets schedule was incorrectly configured. These are just samples of different types of backup schedules, daily, weekly, monthly. It could be easily confused for one or the other. Go into your backup sets, click on your backup job, go to backup schedule, look at your existing schedules. You see that the label for backup schedule is a type weekly, but I really wanted it to be daily. So obviously I can click on every day of the week, but I'm just going to make this a type daily instead. So I'm going to create a new backup schedule. Clicking on add, type daily, click OK. I'm going to delete the incorrect one, the weekly one, by clicking on the lower left, delete. And then I'm just going to relabel daily dash one to be backup schedule. OK, and then save it. Number six. For Windows backup sets, the Windows user authentication could be missing credentials or it could be containing incorrect or invalid credentials. If your Windows account has password expiry policy, such as password aging, after you update your Windows credentials, you'll need to remember, remember to update your backup sets settings too. Maintaining up-to-date credentials is required for scheduler. So let's say my Windows account has password aging. I must change my password. So as you can see on the screen, I'm changing my Windows password for the user administrator. After I've saved the updated Windows credential, I'm going into my OBM, the backup jobs for all of my backup sets and updating the Windows user authentication. So I have a username of administrator. I just need to update the password, click OK, and then repeat it for the other backup sets that have schedules, schedulers enabled. Once that is done, save it. Number seven, client services is not running. On Windows, ACB service is ASE A-Click Backup Services. OBM is ASE Online Backup Manager Services. 
If you are branded, you'll need to locate the correct services name for your product. For Windows, you can click on Start and then do a search for Services. Click on it. And then for OBM, you can locate the service. You see that the status is not running. Right click, click Start, wait for it to start up, and then now your scheduler is turned on. If you're on Linux, you can check if your OBM service is running. From the command line as root, type ps space dash ef pipe grep space java. If you see the output to include the bschjw, you know that the service is running. Number eight. Time zone difference. Time zones are an important setting for a backup user. If the backup user's profile is set for a certain time zone, but the computer's time zone is different, this can affect scheduling. The user may receive a missed, missed backup job report. However, the backup job did run. For regions that observe daylight savings time, it's possible that the scheduler service needs to be restarted after the time change. Turning back to our OBM, once you have logged in, locate your avatar in the upper right hand corner. This is for your profile settings. Click on it. And then click on time zone. Look at the time zone setting. Right now it is GMT minus eight. Now I'm gonna look at my system clock and check on that time zone. So on Windows, looking at the time, checking on the time settings, I can see the time zone is UTC minus eight. Number nine, backup set is scheduled for incorrect computer. Did you recently take ownership of the backup set on another computer? Maybe the schedule owner doesn't match the correct host. On my Windows host, the host name is SVCW2012 xx x x and i'm going to log into my obm client and then look at my backup set so i have three backup sets it's the first one that i want to take ownership of the current owner is svc W2012-2021. And my host name right now is SVC W2020 XXXX. So for my first backup set, I'm going to click on it. Under general, you can see that the owner is 2021. And the WA, WUA host name is also the 2021. So I'm going to click on backup schedule. Turn on schedule, and now I'm prompted if I want to take ownership of this backup. I'm going to click yes. Double check my existing backup schedule. Click OK or click save. And now I'm prompted to update the Windows user authentication. So I need to update the host name XXXX and input the correct credential. Click OK.
I'm just going to go back into that backup set to confirm everything checks out okay. Remotely, if you, if you need to check if the owner of a backup set is set correctly, you can log in through the CBS user console. Logging in as my user named Flint, I'm going to click on user, the blue tile, click on backup set, and then I'm going to open up the backup set job. As you can see, the owner is set correctly to XXXX. Under general, the owner. Under backup schedule. Run schedule on this computer. Number 10. One of the possible reasons that the backups set missed the scheduled backup is the home.txt is not configured properly. On Windows, the home.txt can be found in a hidden directory on C named program data. The home.txt doesn't exist or contains too many entries is also another possible reason. Turning to my client machine where OBM is installed, on C drive you can see that I cannot find the program data directory. It is a hidden directory, so if I go into control panel, folder options on Windows Server, Click on View, click on Show Hidden Files Folders, Apply. Now on C Drive, you will see that the program data directory is now visible. Alternatively, if you do not want to show hidden directories, you can just input C colon slash program data and jump into that directory directly. And then I'll say OBM and then Home. .txt. And then as you can see, I have one line entry for my user administrator. Continuing on for number 10, generally most client installations and backup sets are for a single Windows user. Therefore, you will only find one entry in home.txt. The scheduled service will run for one OBM user only. For systems where you have multiple users, the home.txt will contain multiple lines such as what you see on the screen, each line for each user. You have user A and user B. So when the scheduler starts, it will read the home.txt and search for the settings.sys file contained in each of the two users directory path. Then the scheduler uses each user information from settings.sys and makes a query to the backup server to obtain the user's backup set details and the schedule of each job. The OBM scheduler service will make a query to the backup server every five minutes for each OBM user to check when it needs to run the job. Once that scheduled time is reached, it will start to process the job for the respective backup set. If the reasons shown in this video still haven't resolved your problem, you can check out Ase Wiki at wiki.ase.com and search for troubleshooting problem with missing scheduled backup. The search will result two matches. The first one is for V7, the second one is for V8. You'll want to make sure you're looking at article 8007. Additionally, you can reference our ASE blog at www.ase.com. Go to company, blog, scroll down, under archive, 
locate August 2017. Scroll down a little bit more until you see the top eight reasons for missed backups when using ASE backup software. If you still have questions, you can log into ASE Partner Portal and submit a support ticket at www.ase.com forward slash partners. Thank you for watching.